Okay, welcome back. This is the third lesson of uh, our uh, first session of machine learning Zoom Camp, and we will talk about supervised machine learning. So we will define more formally uh, what supervised machine learning is, and we will talk about a couple of examples like regression, classification, and ranking. So let's start. So in lesson one, we talked about uh, an example of price prediction. So we wanted to predict the price of a car. And what we did is we kind of supervised the, the model. We were teachers of a model and we showed uh, the model different examples. We showed models different cars. And for each car, we showed the price. And we did it for all the cars we had. And we this way, we supervised the, the algorithms, the, the machines. We showed them for this kind of cars, this is what the price should be. And this is the essence behind, uh, this is the idea behind supervised machine learning. So in all these cases, we have this label, and this is how we supervise machine learning. We show them, we teach the machines by showing them examples. And from these examples, the machines are able to learn the patterns and use these patterns to generalize to new examples. So let's say when we have a car for which we don't know a price, then uh, the machines using the patterns they extracted, they can predict the price of a car, right? So we teach um, we teach the algorithms. And we also talked about a different example of spam prediction. Um, so it was exactly the same. So we, uh, we were teachers, we were showing the machines different uh, example of spam and not spam messages. And just by looking at these examples, the algorithm was able to pick the patterns and understand, uh, okay, if there is uh, the word deposit, maybe this is more likely to be uh, um, a spam message, right? So these are the examples we saw so far. And uh, this is what we actually need to, uh, this is how the data looks like. So we uh, don't, of course, show pictures. We don't just show text, not always. Um, so in some cases, we do show pictures, we do show text, but most of the time we need to extract features, right? We need to extract, uh, we need to show, and we need to tell the models what exactly we want them to predict. We tell the model, okay, we want to predict if something is spam or not spam. So one means spam, zero means not spam, but most of the models don't care if it's spam or something else, all they care if it's zero or one, right? So we have these features, we have this target variable, and we put this in a model. And we can uh, make it a bit more formal. So for like uh, machine learning actually is a branch of computer science and mathematics, of applied mathematics. So it uses mathematics, uh, statistics, and so on to be able to extract these patterns. So it can see that, of, let's say this feature uh, is called deposit, right? And if we see that uh, often, when we see that if feature is this feature is one, then more often than not, than not, uh, uh, yeah, in three out of four cases, I'm like this is probably a bad example, but in fifty percent of the cases, actually, uh, if the word deposit is there, then it's uh, a spam. So a model tries to extract patterns like that using uh, concepts from uh, mathematics and statistics. So this is what it relies on. And we will now define it a bit more formally. So uh, this feature matrix, so this is called feature matrix, feature matrix. And we call it usually using uh, capital X, right? So this is our matrix and matrix is a uh, like two dimensional array where rows are our observations or objects for which we want to predict something and columns are features right so this is first uh, spam me is a message this is second message and we have all these message messages as a row of this matrix and then for each row we have a corresponding like we have a, a matrix y right so this is uh, actually this is a lowercase y so this is um, a vector Right, so this vector, for each row of the matrix, we know if this is spam or not, 
So it just contains zeros and ones in this case, right? So we have this X and Y. Capital X is the matrix with feature. Uh, smaller, lowercase y is our vector with um, uh, with target variable. And I know that many of you, um, uh, like maybe you studied math, but uh, forgot long time ago. So you can think of this as uh, y as one dimensional array. So it's just an array with numbers, right? So there's zero, one, uh, zero, and so on. So this is a one dimensional array, right? And x is a two dimensional array. So it's an array of arrays. So we have uh, basically like here, we have uh, six, uh, six observations. So we have six arrays inside, and this is a two dimensional array or a table, right? So you can think of this as just two dimensional array, right? So we have this, and now we need to put this in a model, right? So the, what we usually do, so we have, uh, so we have our feature matrix X, right? And uh, we want to produce Y. So we want to, um, when we teach uh, a model, when we train a model, we want to be as close to this Y as possible. Right? And we do this by training this function G. So G is nothing else but our model. It's our model uh, that takes in that takes in this matrix X and that produces something that uh, is approximately close to the target variable Y. So this is target variable, target. And these are our features. So uh, again, the goal of machine learning is to be able to train, to uh, come up with this function G that takes in the feature matrix and produces something that is as close as possible to the target variable, right? And uh, yeah, so in our example, so target could be the price of a car. G um, X could be uh, like all the information about cars, model, make, mileage, uh, and so on. And we want to train our model G in such a way when it takes the X, all this information about the car, it produces the price that is as close as possible to the price of a, uh, of a car. And remember, if you remember the example, the actual price of a car was 1.5 thousand. Um, and uh, yeah, actually the actual price was 1.1 thousand and the model predicted 1.5. It's not always possible to predict the exact price, but we want it to be as close as possible, right? And in this case, it's close enough for our purpose. So this is a formal definition of uh, supervised machine learning. So this is uh, the goal is to produce this function G. And then the output, of this G. Uh, so we already talked a bit about uh, the output of uh, the um, uh, price prediction model. So the, the output was a number, um, the price of a car. In case of spam classification, the output was uh, probability, right? So again, this is our X, right? And this is our predictions. So we take our function G, which is our model, and we put our X, the, the features, and it produces these predictions, right? So, and these predictions, they are like, let's say the original target was one for this one, it's spam for this maybe zero, zero, um, I don't know, one, zero, one. And we try to be as close to the target as possible, right? So, and this is uh, this, process of uh, uh, looking at the features and then coming up with this uh, G is called training. So we have this uh, G function and uh, based on the output it produces and based on the target variable that we have, we have different types of supervised machine learning. So in the first case, uh, and this was the case for uh, the car price prediction uh, example, so this is a 
an example of a regression problem. So this is uh, a function g here in this case returns a number that is um, like between zero and uh, plus infinity. So from zero dollars to however many dollars. And uh, yeah, so basically the, 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 the function g here outputs the price, uh, the prediction for the price, right? And uh, there are other examples of uh, regression problems uh, that um, anything that outputs number from can be any number from minus minus infinity to plus infinity or whatever range it is a regression problem so for example if we want to predict the price of a, uh, the price of a house and we say okay this is the house uh, with uh, this kind of characteristics like uh, number of square meters number of rooms uh, distance from the center, distance from the closest uh, subway station, and so on. And uh, based on all this information, we can say that this house costs, uh, for example, one million or something like this. So these are all examples of regression problem. So, and uh, usually the output in this case uh, is always a number. Right? Then there's a different type of supervised machine learning problem type is called classification when uh, we don't output a number but we output a category so for example if we look at a picture and we say on this picture we have a car so this is a picture of a car then this is a classification problem right we um, our input is the picture the output is car right so we classify this picture as a picture of a car then uh, the spam example we talked about um, uh, it's also classification. So we have uh, all these uh, characteristics of uh, an email. And then based on this characteristic, we predict if something is spam or not. So here, the function g produces uh, like the output is uh, a category. And the target, the target variable, most importantly, is a category. So, and then there are different subclasses of classification uh, so there are there is a multi-class uh, classification when the, we want to classify something into multiple different categories so for example let's say we have images and this could be images of cars this could be images of cats or images of dogs and we need to classify uh, images into three different categories so this is a multi-class category and of course it can be 10 categories it can be uh, thousand categories it can be as many categories uh, as you need so as long as it's more than two because for two there is a special um, subtype of classification problem which is called the binary classification problem and this is the example we already looked at um, so for spam classification it was a case of binary, binary classification problem and uh, there we wanted to predict if something is spam or not and uh, if you remember, so for spam, it was one or zero. And actually, the function g that we had uh, would output uh, a probability between zero and one, right? And the target variable looked like uh, um, just an array with ones and zeros. So that's why for binary classification, they're like a special, it's a special subtype of classification problem that is. Uh, very widely used in practice. And then there is a different type of uh, class, uh, different type of supervised learning, which is called trunking. We will not talk a lot about this course, but I just want to mention it exists. So ranking is usually used in uh, cases when you want to rank something. So it can be a recommender system. So for example, I'm a user, I go to an e-commerce website, and there are many, many products that I am potentially interested in. How to select the most interesting one? So what happens under the hood is there a function that ranks the items um, in such a way. So the, the function tries to understand for me. So in this case, uh, uh, like for me as a user, what would be the, let's say, the probability that I like this item. And it looks at all the items that are there and tries to score them, give them a score. Can be just for simplicity, let's take, let's think, uh, let's take a score from zero to one. So they score everything that is there. 
you assign it a score from zero to one, then it takes all these items and returns the top six. So here we have the top six, right? So these are the items that had the uh, the biggest score. So for example, let's say this can be uh, 0 0.7, this can be 0 0.66. Uh, I have no idea what is that actually, but uh, apparently this is something I potentially would like. Then, uh, you know, I don't know, a case for uh, headphones and things like this. So they basically score everything and then they sort everything by the score and then they show me, show me top six results. So this is how a recommender system works. And this is an example of a, a ranking problem, right? So we want to have ranked list of items that I will probably want to buy, right? And if you think about this, Google is doing something similar. So that if I go to Google and try machine learning Zoom camp, it wants to show not only what is relevant, but also what is most interesting for me. So they look at all the documents in the world that contain this particular um, phrase, right? And then they score them. Um, they want to see how likely that this document is relevant for me. So they again maybe have for this document that probability of relevance is uh, 0 0.9, then for this one maybe 0 0.85 and so on. So they basically show uh, their, their rank by this relevant score and then they show the, the most relevant as the first one. So this is an example of uh, ranking again. And uh, for e-commerce, uh, like uh, for e-commerce, uh, shops and marketplaces like OLX, this search problem is also uh, quite important. So we, if you want, uh, let's say, to buy an iPhone, you go to OLX and you uh, type iPhone in search. So you want to, we want to show the user what is most relevant for this particular user. So this is again an example of uh, a ranking problem. And yeah, in uh, summary, so uh, supervised uh, machine learning is uh, about teaching computer, teaching an algorithm by showing different examples. And the examples are usually, we put them in matrix X and then we have the vector Y. So in matrix X, we have, uh, we call it the feature matrix. These are all the characteristics of an item uh, for which we want, want to make a prediction and why is the prediction we want to make, right? So this is what we want to learn from. And uh, then the goal of supervised learning is to come up with a function G, right? And uh, in such a way that when we apply this G to our uh, feature matrix, we get something very close to our target variable, right? And here inside G, and we will talk about throughout the course, what this G looks like exactly. So here, this G actually tries to extract patterns from this uh, matrix X in such a way when we apply this matrix X to G, we get something that is very close to target variable. So this is the essence of um, supervised machine learning. And then based on the type of target variable, we can have uh, regression classification, which can be multi-class classification or binary, and we can have ranking, right? And in this course, we will focus mostly on uh, classification and we'll have a chapter also. It will be the next lesson. We'll talk about regression. And actually the case of binary classification, this is uh, probably the most uh, widely used uh, um, type of machine learning, I would say, of supervised uh, machine learning. And uh, you definitely need to, you will definitely have a problem that can be solved um, as a binary classification problem when you work with machine learning. So that's it for this lesson. So in the next lesson, we will look at the bigger picture of organizing machine learning projects. And we will talk about a special methodology for organizing machine learning projects called CRISPM.